Hey all you action figure enthusiasts out there, JC here with another TNI toy review. And today's review is in association with MarvelousNews.com, your number one news source for everything Marvel. And today I bring you another two for one review where I'll be looking at the final figure in the new Venom wave with Poison. And then after that I'll be taking a look at the build a figure for this wave which is the monster Venom figure. Now, Poison here comes packaged in the same style that we've been seeing with all these Venom theme figures. You've got the white packaging. You've got the Legend Series logo up at the top. At the very top, you've got that Venom symbol. The figure is clearly displayed in the window box. And then down below, you've got the Venom logo and the name of the character. On the sides of the packaging, you've just got some artwork for Poison. And then on the back of the packaging, you've got a look at the actual figure, a brief bio in multiple languages, and then down below, look at all the figures in the wave that you need to get in order to complete the Monster Venom Build-A-Figure. All right, let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside the packaging along with the other contents. Now, the only accessory that this figure comes with is the left arm for the Monster Venom Build-A-Figure, which again, I will be looking at at the end of this video. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Okay, so now for the figure. Now, I've gotta be honest, when I started this review, I knew nothing about this character. I've never read any of the comics with this character. And I tried doing a little bit of research online, but even that, I found a bit confusing. So if you've read the stories with this character and you're more familiar, please kind of uh, help me connect the dots in the comment section below. But best I can tell, there was a version of Peter Parker that appeared in a what if story, an alternate universe Peter Parker that appeared first appeared in a what if story where essentially Peter ends up getting killed and he's placed in this re regenerating type cocoon. The Venom symbiote discovers that and goes to the cocoon enters the cocoon the two kind of battle it out but the venom symbiote ends up winning out and taking over peter essentially and emerges with this kind of all white look and everything decides that the venom name is a loser name and renames himself poison and that is the initial uh, origin of, of the character. But then there's this whole Venomverse crossover event that took place uh, earlier this year, I think, or maybe it was last year, but essentially where the poisons were considered uh, a species, an alien species that essentially assimilated symbiotes. And this alternate universe, Doctor Strange, ends up assembling a resistance force of venomized heroes and then you end up with these poison venomized heroes and pretty much everybody in the marvel universe becomes uh, some kind of venom symbiote or poison symbiote and they end up battling it out you know i think uh, the poisons are led by uh, a thanos that has been possessed and maybe dr doom something along those lines and i believe you know the peter parker poison does appear in that storyline I believe in issue two, he ends up fighting Venom, but I don't know if it's actually supposed to be the same uh, one that appeared in that What If story, or if it's a different one, I don't know. I don't know if there's a connection between the two, being that in the What If story, it was like Venom that took over Peter and then renamed himself Poison, and then in the Venom verse, it was an alien uh, species. So again, I don't know the connection, but if you do, if there is a connection, please chime in in the comment section below. As for the figure, I think it's a pretty cool design, even though I'm not familiar with the character. And from what I can tell, it seems to be fairly comic book accurate. So essentially, this is an all white figure, a pearl type white plastic that is used throughout this figure. And on the back, it's just all white. There's really no other paint detail, but you do have some nice sculpting detail on the back here, especially here on the back of the figure, down the spine and everything. I think that's kind of a cool sculpting detail and on here on the shoulders. And then on the front, you've got nice sculpting detail with this metallic silver, like on the lines here on his shoulders. And it ends right at, you know, basically at the top of his shoulder. So you don't get any of that metallic silver on the back. I don't know if that's accurate or not, or if Hasbro just got lazy and didn't paint the back of the figure. Um, I, I don't really know, but I do like how the metallic silver uh, line work throughout the figure looks. And you've got that um, down the legs and you've got some metallic silver here, tips here on these little spike things that stick out on his wrists. And these are hard plastic. The left hand is sculpted with a, a claw type uh, pose. And then you've got a closed fist for the right hand. And then the mask, you've got uh, all white with the metallic silver lines and then the black on the eyes and up here on the front of the nose. 
and so again you've got metallic silver line work throughout the mask there so that looks pretty good and then you've got this weird spider symbol on his chest which is done it's actually sculpted on there the spider symbol is actually sculpted and is done with just black and then you've got these uh, legs or tentacles whatever you want to call them that are sticking out and these are done with a rubber material so you can't really pose them or anything but you don't have to worry about them snapping off and you can kind of move them around but they'll just go back into the same position but overall i do think that looks pretty good okay now poison here stands if you count to the top of his head just under six and a half inches tall and if you count to the top of the tentacles then he stands about seven and a half inches tall and just for comparison, here's a look at the modern Venom figure that is also shipping in the same wave, as well as the modern Spider-Man figure that they've done. This is the one from the San Diego Comic-Con Raft box set, and it uses the pizza-eating Spider-Man. Okay, so for articulation on this one, you can turn the head to the left and to the right, and he can look down really good. He's got a ball hinge joint there, and he can also look up pretty good as well. You don't get a whole lot of head pivot with this one, though. With the arms, you can get the arm out good, and you've got good rotation there at the shoulder. He's got a bicep swivel he's got a double hinged elbow so good bending there you've got rotation at the hands and then hinges on the wrist so up and down movement there he has an ab crunch type joint so he can crunch forward that much and then he can look back pretty good as well you get a waist swivel with this one he can only do the splits about that much so he really can't do the splits very good he can get the leg forward good and then can do the leg out and back has a thigh swivel has a double hinged knee so good bending there at the knee and then he's got a boot cuff swivel hinges on the feet so up and down movement and he does have ankle pivot and two peg holes on the bottom of the feet Okay, so before I move on to the Monster Venom Build-A-Figure portion of this video, I just want to share my final thoughts on Poison here. So other than not knowing anything about the character, I think it's a pretty cool looking design. I like the spider symbol on his chest. It is, you know, it seems to be a whole new figure sculpt that we're getting. So that's kind of interesting. And even though it's very basic as far as the paint applications go with just the white and then the metallic silver and everything, you know, overall, I think it, it is decent looking. And if you're a fan of these poisons, and and this incarnation of Peter Parker then I think this is definitely one that you're gonna want to check out okay now moving on to the monster venom build a figure portion of this review and just to recap in order to complete the monster venom figure you've got to get the carnage figure the new carnage figure with the unmasked Cletus Cassidy head the new poison figure the new Venom figure that comes with the unmasked Eddie Brock head and also is a stand-in for pork grind and you get that alternate pork grind head with the spider ham figure in this wave and then we've got Scream and then finally Daredevil villain Typhoid Mare. Okay now putting this build a figure together is pretty simple and you probably want to start off by taking the torso pieces and snapping them together so you've got the front and the back piece and you just want to snap it in and it should snap into place like that. And then you can take uh, either the legs or the arms and snap them into place. So we'll start with the legs here. And you want to make sure you have the right leg on the right side and the left leg on the left side, of course. And you do have to kind of turn a little bit with this one to get it to snap into place. Uh, it's putting up a little bit of resistance there, but you know, you can work it and get it in there. And then we'll put the left one on here. And that one snapped in much easier and then the arms of course again put the left arm on the left side and the right arm on the right and you want to plug that into the hole there on the side and that should those should snap into place real easy and then the final thing is the head of course which just fits on the top of this ball hinge joint so with that and here is our second venom figure of the wave fully assembled Okay, so for the actual figure, I think Hasbro's done a nice job with the overall sculpting detail. Definitely looks like a Venom that's hyped up on steroids or something. I like the way that they sculpted the mouth. Now the mouth is wide open and it's got the tongue sticking out, but I think it looks good on the figure, especially for this incarnation. I really like how they sculpted the teeth on it with the off-white yellowish color doesn't look like venom has been brushing and then you've got the dark maroon color for the tongue and inside the mouth and even on the sides here so i think that's nice detailing and then he's got the white venom type eyes now i do have a little bit of a scratch mark on my right eye here um, which i'm sure is just unique to my figure so not a big deal but overall i think they've done a good job with the head sculpt and i like this line work on the top of his forehead 
Now the entire figure is done, it's not a solid black color like you generally think for Venom. It is done with this dark metallic purple type color. So I think it picks up the light nicely. Um, and then the spider symbol is painted on there on the front and the back. And you've got those jagged arms and everything. And the spider symbol looks like it's pumped up on steroids as well. So it matches the figure nicely. And then you've got these tentacle pieces that are attached to the back here. They're not removable or anything. And they're made with a flexible type plastic. So you don't have to worry about them breaking off. You also have uh, smaller tentacles on both the left and the right arms. So just for added detail. And then with the legs and everything, again, I like how you've got all these uh, veins down the arms and down the legs and such sculpted. And then he's got the pointy toes, but I do like that detailing with the sculpting. So overall, you know, I think they've captured the likeness of this monster Venom quite nicely. So this figure stands, if you count to the top of his head, just under seven inches tall. But if you count to the top of his uh, tentacles, then it's more about a little bit over seven and a half inches tall. He's definitely kind of at a hunchback type position, so he doesn't really stand straight up. Okay, so here's a look at various Venom figures that Hasbro's done with the new ones. So we've got the Doc Ock Superior Spider-Man version of Venom. We've got the normal Eddie Brock Venom. Then we've got the Monster Venom Build-A-Figure, the new one. Then we have the Space Venom Build-A-Figure. And the Space Venom figure is a little bit taller, but this new Monster Venom is definitely wider and more bulky looking, so definitely looks more menacing. And then we've got the Agent Venom figure, and then finally the Pork Grind version of Venom. And then finally, here's a comparison of a modern Spider-Man Marvel Legend figure from Hasbro, the one from the Raft box set. Okay, so for articulation on this guy, you can turn the head to the left and to the right. He really doesn't have much in the way of up and down movement or head pivot. The head is basically pointing forward because it's done in that hunchback type position. And then with the arms, you can get the arms out pretty good. And you've got good rotation there at the shoulder. He has a bicep swivel. He has a single hinged elbow, so he can bend his elbow that much. And then you get rotation with the hands. And then you have hinges on the hands as well, so you've got the up and down movement. He's got a midsection joint, so he really can't crunch forward. He's basically, he can just look straight ahead. And then he can look back pretty good there at the midsection. You get a waist swivel with this one. And then with the legs, he can do the splits pretty good. You can get the leg forward pretty good. And then you can do the leg out and back. You've got a thigh swivel. You've got a double jointed knee, so good bending there at the knee. And then you've got hinges on the feet, so up and down movement with the feet. And of course you do get ankle pivot with this one as well. And two peg holes on the bottom of the feet. So that's my review. So overall I would say with the wave in general, I think it's a pretty solid wave. There are a few repeats that we've gotten before, but you get some good improvements with them, with the carnage and the unmasked head, and then the venom figure with the unmasked Eddie Brock head. Plus you can use that second body mold for your pork grind with the alternate pork grind head that comes with spider ham. So overall, I think it's a pretty solid wave in general. And then as far as the Build-A-Figure goes, I do like this Venom. If you like your Venom to be big and bulky, I think this is one you're definitely gonna wanna check out. It's not the tallest Venom they've ever done, but definitely the biggest, kind of widest, bulkiest Venom that they've done. Now this wave has started to hit shelves. We'll have a full image gallery up at MarvelousNews.com. There'll be a link in the video description below. As always, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel by hitting that button down below. I'd really appreciate it. You should also hit that bell notification so you're alerted every time I upload a new video. And of course, you can follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch accounts. I have links to all those in the video description as well. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.